Hi, and welcome back to the How to Use Famitracker series. This lesson will delve into an important facet of the triangle channel that really helps give the Famitracker its signature sound. After messing around with the noise channel a bit, you might notice that the percussion lacks a bit of punch that certain elements of traditional chiptune music have. These songs often contain other percussive sounds layered alongside the noise channel and are often um, taking advantage of the triangle channel. Uh, the secret to this technique is uh, very fast downward pitches, and I've got an example right here. The noise channel is great for washes of static, but it lacks focus on the frequency spectrum. The triangle channel contains very narrow frequency bands, and I'll switch over to Ableton and give you a little example of that. So in Ableton, down in this EQ8, we can see if we play a triangle, that it has very sharp pitches um, in relation to a noise channel, which basically covers the entire frequency spectrum with, um, with harmonics. So if we're using a triangle channel, it's very focused energy in very specific points on the frequency spectrum. So when the triangle channel is swept quickly across an octave or two, it saturates the lower mid-range frequencies and overwhelms other elements of the song, creating a punchy sound. And this is kind of how a, a traditional drum actually works as well. Like we discussed in the noise lesson, most percussive sounds start very loud and then fade quickly. Starting the triangle note high and then quickly pitching it down creates a very similar sense of um, strike and dissipation because um, higher frequencies are often considered higher energy, which can be translated into loudness by the ears. So there's two primary methods of achieving this effect. The first one is using the effects column in the triangle channel, and I've showed you one way of doing it here, and that's using the R, um, the R effect here. You can also, if you wanted to, you can also use the 2 effect, which is a pitch slide down. So I think um, 224 is, is a pretty good um, example of that. So you'll notice that there is difference with these sounds. Um, the 224 is um, less directional when it comes to the pitch slide. You have um, less control over where exactly the note ends up. The second method is to create a dedicated instrument and use the pitch effect inside of that instrument. This way you can precisely control the pitch amount. So if we just copy these notes and let's create a new instrument called pitched and um, we'll just edit these notes and again I'll just bring over the note cut for brevity um, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go into the instrument editor here and choose pitch and right now there's nothing on there and if we add one we do change the pitch but if we set this to loop we have very very granular control over what this note sounds like so if you want it to sound um, mid-range or very, very fast, you have that option. And also notice that there is basically a floor to how low these notes can go. So in both cases, the octave you start at generates a very different sounding pitch for the tom or kick. So if you do something around octaves three or four, you get something that sounds more like a kick. But if you bring this up an octave to... Um, to five or six, you get like almost a tom or just kind of a melodic um, percussive instrument. Um, so you hear a lot of these in like Mega Man games. I think Mega Man used it the most, um, but there's a lot there's a lot you can do with these once you get the hang of them. So this is a bit of a shorter video, but it is an incredibly important concept. Using the triangle channel for percussion both reinforces your noise channel's drums but also gives you access to interesting and unique sound effects. In the next video, I'm going to talk about juggling instruments within a single channel and good practices for working within such limited space. As always, if you have any questions, get in touch with me through the comments below or my Twitter above. 
If you found this video interesting, please consider giving it a like and subscribing to my channel because I'm planning on creating much more stuff like this in the future. Thanks for watching this video. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.